is an honor and uh, for me to be with you. Today is the last day of the year. The day of accountability when we can look back at what we have been doing over the last 365 days and have a plan what we can do in the coming 365 days. Today is a chance for us as Maulana Kabiruddin was talking to ask Allah forgiveness. Today is a good chance for us to see that we are not sending here in the mosque while people outside in a few hours time will drink and to do something that Allah and his messenger do not like to see. Today is a special day for us. Every day, every hour, every minute, you come to the house of Allah, it's a special day, special hour, special minute for you. Because Allah is inviting us to his house. Will you allow anybody you don't like to come to your house? No. When Allah asks you to come to his house, that means he loves you. And he invites you to come to his house. This morning, because Fajr is late, we take the advantage to pray it harder, is it right? Not to go to sleep. I was trying to say what I'm going to talk about today. I should talk about freedom. Freedom? We have been born free. As Hazrat Umar said, Mata sta'abattu min nas, wa qad khalaqa awaladathum ummahatum ahram. When did you enslave people and they have been born free by their mothers? In the discussion, between the fight in the race between his son and the Egyptian. <coughs> Freedom for me is not to do what you like, is to do what people need from you. Freedom for me is a dignity, not to humiliate yourself by looking awful, because a new look is a new look. And when you're a new look, you destroy the Sunnah, you destroy the Hadith, you destroy everything. I said in one of my statements, the people who think that the fashion is more important than, than what? Than faith should not ask Allah for forgiveness. Because you value the fashion more than the faith. When you say that the faith is more important than the fashion we have here, you can ask Allah forgiveness. Freedom is not to look like anybody else. Because everybody else have a new fashionable way or new look. Freedom is not to step on the foot and toes of your neighbor. Freedom is to respect. Freedom is to become a servant and a slave to the community. Become arrogant and big-headed. Freedom is to build. Build your own community. Build your own society. Build your own country. Freedom is to worship Allah day and night. As Maulana was saying earlier on. Freedom is a spirit. <coughs> Then when you release it, it affects the mind and the soul of every human being, even animals and birds and plants and other creation. That's why Prophet Muhammad was loved by all the creation of Allah. Because he was free to deliver the message of Allah without any limit. Wallahi ya am. وضع القرآن في يميني. إيه إيه إيه؟ لا مش القرآن. 
الشمس في يميني والقمر في يساري ما تخليت عن هذا الدين او ماي انكل اف ذي بوت ذا سن ان ماي رايت هاند اند ذا مون ان ماي ليفت هاند اي ويل نيفر ايفر جيف اب ديليفرينج ذا مسج اوف الله ا فري مان تو ديليفر ذا مسج ذات الله وونتس هيم تو ديليفر اني تايم اني وير Freedom is achievement. Freedom is excelling. Freedom is connecting and communicating and education. Educating others. This is freedom. Freedom not to come naked outside or to have uh, what do you call this uh, colorful, what do you call it? Uh, Dyed. Or have to. Or you have your hair, your, your hair like uh, dyed, uh, dyed, uh, dyed, dyed, okay, pink, uh, red, uh, ginger, Blue. whatever you call it, Blue. or to shave some of your hair and keep the other one against the sunnah of the Prophet. This is not freedom. This is humiliation. Freedom is humility and being humble and bending your back to the lowest of the lowest in the society. Freedom is when you think about others as much as you think about your family. When you think about others as much as you think about yourself, this is freedom. The people who have free mind only can build society, only can make change, only can become change maker. Because when they become slaves to Allah, Allah will make them masters of humanity. When they become Allah, Allah will make them masters of humanity. When they serve community, Allah will, will make them the master of the community, the leader of the community. This is freedom that we want. Freedom is to help your neighbor, the elderly, free to help. Freedom is to have a role in the society, in your life. For us, never ever live. I'm saying it again, and again and again. Never ever live in this life without having a role. No matter how big or small such a role is. Never. Never. And mothers at the back, you bring the leaders. I fail, that means my mother did not look after me. Big responsibility on you at the back. I'm very happy to see sisters are sitting in the mosque, different ages. Freedom is to have every member of the community as a part of your mosque. Not to be a sectarian mosque and sectarianism based on political background or cultural background or racial background or theological background. This is not Islam. Bilal was Minna Ahlul Bayt. He was amongst us, as the Prophet said, the family of the Prophet. Salman, the Persian was the same. Every individual in the Muslim community is a member of the mosque. By the teaching of Muhammad and by the guidance and the rule of Islam. Because this mosque is the house of Allah. Not the house of Somalia, not the house of India, not the house of Bangladesh. Not the house of Pakistan, none, 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 none. It's the house of God. Any and everyone should be welcome. And this freedom to bring everybody in, to accommodate them, to respect them, to give them honor and dignity. This is freedom what we want to talk about. What is my role? How many more minutes left? I don't see. I see, but I don't see. I talk, but I don't talk. I hear, I don't hear. What? How many minutes left? Is that, is that maybe 10 minutes. Okay.
Okay. I said we have to have a role. Don't become nostalgic. Living in the ages of the great achiever. But learn from them to achieve like them. Don't come and give me a, 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 a sleeping tablet. But oh, how we were great civilization. Islam is the greatest religion. Fine. What have you been doing? Because when you and me stand before Allah, Allah will not ask me about what Omar did, but on what Osman did, but what I have done. Don't become nostalgic. Living in the past. Learn from the past. To make the better future, not only for your family, but for humanity. Don't be nostalgic. It's number one. What's our plan in life? We keep complaining about the Trojan horse. Is that right? Trojan horse. You know Trojan horse? Sister, do you know what Trojan horse? They don't know Trojan horse. I know it. Do you know uh, uh, Casey, uh, Casey report? Yes. 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 And we complain. Yes. But we are a part of the problem. Because we isolate ourselves from the greater community. Because we do not interact to affect and show them the best of manner, the best of behavior, and the best of production that Muslims are having in the country. When they write a report, and they are not a part of the people who are writing and reporting, of course, it will not represent your view. Before complaining, we need to look at our responsibility and our duty. Have we fulfilled them or we just talk, 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 look, 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 look. We keep look, look and talk, talk. Is that anything else? Look, look, talk, talk, book, book. Anything else? Anything else? Look, look, talk, talk, book. It's not. We are here to develop, to affect positively, to lead effectively the society. Mufarah, where he came from? Africa. Huh? No, he came from Egypt. He's Egyptian. He knows everybody knows him. Every one of you is very proud of him. I want to be proud of every and each one in this room. This is, this is the message. 2017 is starting tomorrow. I've seen the mass killing in different Muslim countries. But shall we become hot-headed? No. Shall we become extremist? No. Shall we become radical? No. Shall we become terrorist? No. And big no's, not no, N-O-O-O-O, and capital S. It's my, my, my language now. I speak different language now. You have to be a part of the solution. Be a politician, be a lawyer, become an MP, become a professor, become a teacher, become an engineer, become a scientist, become a leader. Because this country, Europe, the West, the whole world is waiting for your input based on your theological background and your faith. Where is Islam? Islam is the religion of extremism, of terrorism, of radicalism. That's what they say. Because we have not shown them anything else. And every group of us is living in their ghettos. Stop the ghetto mentality. Because what the Prophet ﷺ taught humanity is something beyond the expectation of the 21st or the 25th century.
He was and is the master of humanity. And he was and is the leader of humanity. And he was and is the guidance for humanity. Not only for the Arabs, not only for the Muslims, but for every being. Even for the beings who are not this is our role. Somebody has, somebody has told me a story. No, huh? no, I can't continue forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, we talked about freedom. We talked about role. I gave you some good examples, not from Islamic leaf, because I don't worship Islamic leaf. <coughs> Be careful with me. Huh? <laughs> Muslim aid was doing fantastic work for Christmas. Called with the Lad Bible. Distributing 10 tons of food in London, with East London Mosque. Went very well with the community. Somebody here from Birmingham, the fish and ship man. You know him? From Erdington. He said, I will feed the homeless for the day of Christmas. The Central Mosque, are we outreaching? To the people in this church who needs our help? Yes. Or we are enclaved in our ghettos, in our language, in our tribe, in our family, from this country or this country or this village or this village. And this is Selati Mosque, this is uh, uh, Dhaka Mosque. This is, this is besides Bangladesh, huh? because Salat, Salat is a republic, Dhaka uh, is a republic, and whatever they call it. And this is Hergisa uh, uh, Mosque, this is Pontland or Garawi Mosque, and this is whatever it, no, 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 no. It is the mosque which accommodates even the non-Muslims. You used to come to the Prophet to learn. Finished? You used to come? To learn inside the mosque. And people from Yemen, the Christian from Yemen, came to the mosque in Medina. Asking for the knowledge. And they were inside the mosque. Listening to the Prophet ﷺ. Discussing the issues of the, of the Prophet, of the Prophet ﷺ, And learning from him. And he was conveying the message of humanity to the human being who came from Yemen. So to conclude, each one of us, before we leave today, must define a role for him or her to play. We cannot, sisters, well, well, I put my glasses because this pre prevents me from seeing uh, a distance. So I can't see you, by the way. <laughs> if I take my, my glasses off, I will see you. That's why I'm putting it this way. You have to tell your husband and your children that I'm not talking to you now. <laughs> that they have to have a role. And you leave them. Where is my stick? My stick in the, in the car. And you lead them. You know who was the backbone of the Prophet Sallallahu Was Hadra Khadija. From day one. Very proud. Of the role of Muslim woman from the day one. When Angel Jibreel came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi He came in, in a shocking state. To his wife. And say Khadija, Khadija. And she put him on her lap and telling him, Allah will never let you down at all because you are good to your neighbors. You are good to your family. You are helping the weak. You are empowering the disabled. And you are distributing goodness. A man like this, before he became a Muslim, Allah will never let him down. Don't worry, Muhammad. And she was with him. The Karok with her money, with her vision, with her love, with her compassion. Freedom is compassion. And love, and care, and vision. Jazakallah khair. wa alaykum wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah Shaykh. Um, that was very uplifting. Next. Uplifting, that I give you. Uplifting, yeah. <laughs> Um, Alhamdulillah, I hope that you guys have benefited from the